Well, hello, pink ladies. Well, hello, pink ladies. It's so nice to have you right here in my home. Pink ladies, how is everyone doing? Mwah! I hope everyone is doing fantabulous. It's your girl, Pinky, and I am coming with some story time. Now, let me... Um, put a disclaimer out here to let you beautiful ladies know that when I come to y'all with some story time This ain't no made-up ish. These are true factual events things that I have seen my daughter has seen my mom has seen um, Some pink ladies here or a lot of you pink ladies, you know may DM me and be like, you know what? I want to share something, but I don't want to disclose my name I want to get the ladies opinions and that sort of thing and these are actual factual These are real life events, so I'm not just coming off the top of my head saying let me just make up something to get some views some likes some shares that sort of thing no these are real things that have actually happened and the story i'm getting ready to explain to you ladies now i'm telling you it may make you bite your teeth it may make you do like i, I really wanted to just like punch the hell out of this damn lady that did this so Ladies, remember, comment down below. Let's be respectful to one another. We're going to respect each other's views, opinions, comments. We don't have to say anything belligerent, foul, disgusting. We don't do that. We've been having the story time videos and getting along very well, and we want to keep it that way. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and thoughts. Let's just be respectful about it because we are grown women, and we are um, able to to, you know, communicate and, and be respectful towards one another. Right, ladies? High five. Boop. Oh, and then the next thing I wanted to tell you, ladies, if you haven't checked it out, head on over and check out the Pink Ladies official meeting for 2017. I am sharing some things there, and I want you ladies to share some things with me and make sure you read the description box down below because I have a message to all of you that came straight from the heart that I really want you to read and acknowledge and understand where I was coming from, you know, after I finished, I was a bit emotional because a lot of you ladies have truly been a blessing to me from 2014 all the way up into 2017, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I hope um, from myself to all of you that our friendship continues to, continues to blossom and grow into a beautiful one, okay, ladies? Now, let's go ahead and get into this story time. This story time, just to make a long story short, it's basically about a mother and her child and some rude as inconsiderate female that was in a line waiting to pay for some items um the young lady um, was already at a window waiting to pay for something and it just so happened she had her son with her her son um we're gonna say he was special needs or he had down syndrome so you know he tend to shout out things at random he had a little toy and he kept throwing it on the floor and waving it at people that sort of thing but you know being you know grown and mindful you understand kids that have special needs and you know you gotta um be respectful and some things you have to look over because that's the right thing to do at least for me it is so uh, myself a couple of my friends we are standing maybe two individuals behind the young lady that would be next in line so she's already agitated got an attitude they enclosed another window when they already got a long line and that's when patients come into play you know you're either going to wait in line and pay for your items or you're going to get out the line and come back everybody have choices but to act a damn fool in the store it's just unacceptable to me so like i say the little boy him being special needs having down syndrome playing with his toy his mom trying to take care of whatever it is she trying to purchase and pay a bill he's you know kind of wilding out a little bit being out of control and you know i can tell it's a bit much for her she's a little irritated for what she's trying to do and then you got the other lady that's next in line being a jerk so the little boy as he's playing he's going ugh, 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 you know that sort of thing and he's not doing ugh to mock her that's just his way of you know being ex expressive because of the the type of individual or kid that he is so you know he's just handing having random acts of you know blurting out things and as he's going Ugh, he's throwing the toy on the ground and then he's trying to pronounce things that sort of thing but you know when you see a kid that have you know special needs or down syndrome um you try to help out and i was like you know let me help out pick up the toy that sort of thing because it can be a bit much um 
I have encountered and dealt with some kids like that before. But, you know, if you stand in there and you see somebody got a, a handful of bags or they're trying to take care of something, being the individual that I am, and so are my friends, you know, when he kept throwing his toy, we would help pick it up. Or we were trying to distract him some type of way so that she can go ahead and finish her transaction and the line could keep moving. That's the right thing to do. But the jerk that's two um, individuals up ahead of us, she gets frustrated. And she's, ugh. Oh, oh, and then she get the hands going. Oh, do we have to look at that? And everybody looking around like, okay, like what the hell is she talking about? What's going on with her? The clerk yells out, okay, man, we do apologize for the inconvenience. We're short staff. We're going to get to you next in line. And then, you know, they greet and tell everybody that we apologize for the wait, um, blah, 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 blah. And like you say, you have choices. You're either going to wait or you're going to come back. So, you know, Maybe two people left out the line that was behind us, and we still decided that we were going to wait. We had nothing else to do. This lady still, oh, my God, ugh, like, yuck. What the hell? What, ugh, what, like, really? What? And then the mom is like, what's wrong? What is he doing? Is he bothering you? I apologize. And then she goes, yeah, he bothering me because he's looking like that. Why he got to look like that? Oh, my God. Y'all, we, everybody and I was like, oh. and then my face, I was like, you know, I'm thinking like, y'all know I love the kids. A pinky, love the kids. I, I love my mini pinks, my mini me's. I, I just can't deal with people being ignorant and, and acting dumb to the fact like you know what's going on with this kid and you see the struggle going on with his mom. Why are you, you know, trying to make things worse? And she was like, Ugh, did you have to bring him out the house looking like that? He making all that noise. We don't want to look at him. That is not an attractive look on a kid. And he drooling all over himself, throwing his toy, looking stupid. And I was like... Um, no, and it took everything in me to just be quiet and not say nothing because my friend was like, you can't get involved in every situation and you can't because that's how things lead to conflict and fights and that sort of thing. And the mom was just like, you know, um, trying to ignore her. And she was like, ma'am, if he's bothering you, I'm sorry, I'm almost done. But then, you know, the person in me, I was just like, you don't have to apologize for handling your business. And if you want to bring your son out, you know, you do you, you know, and then she looked back at me and I'm like, well, I mean, it, at some point, y'all, it was just irritating my soul. Who does that? That is so disrespectful. Where's the respect? I mean, I want to say, don't nobody want to be looking at you the way you looking. You know, see my hands going there because I was in my feelings. But she was really a hot mess. The lady started crying and she just said, oh, forget it. She left her stuff and she walked out. And I was just like, that was a no-no. That was so uncalled for. And me personally, as I said, I would have refused old girl service. I really would have. She would have had to get out of my line, leave her item. If she would have said she was calling management, I would have let management know the situation and so forth. It is just no room for ridiculousness, ladies. So I don't know how you ladies feel about that. Tell me how you would have handled the situation. Was I wrong for intervening? I didn't get physical or anything. I mean, I tried to help out and I, I just felt like it was uncalled for. It was unnecessary. And like, wow, really? I mean, really? That That's, that's just how... We felt and we were looking and you know, she made a big issue. Oh, you're not going to um, let me pay for my items. I need this. I need that. I mean, keep it moving. There's another store just like this one, just in a different location. So now you want to make everybody else feel like they're being an inconvenience. They're going to make it an inconvenience for you and put you up out of this store. I definitely would have refused her service. But then, you know, you had some people who were saying, just let her pay for her stuff and get out of here. But not me. Uh-uh. So... Ladies, that was the story that I had to share with you. I had to come bring it. I have several that's coming up. Um, some things that been going on. You know, it's some ratchery everywhere. But, you know, you, you tend to pray about it and hope everything ends well for everybody, you know. Um, but I really want you ladies' views and opinions on this because I'm sure you've been out and seen some dumb things happen at a, a, a 
stop sign in a store, in a mall, at a restaurant or something, and sometimes you want to intervene and act on things. Is it wrong for that? Is it wrong to want to help somebody out when you're seeing, you know, someone else being um, treated badly or, or being wronged or, or being harmed? I mean, like I say, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't feel like there's a reason for me to be mean to someone else. You know, I, I, I just can't deal with that. And like I say, it was the kids. I mean, that kid could not fend for himself. His mom, you can tell, she had a lot on her plate and for her to just cry and walk off. And then you can tell some of the things that she needed was a necessity for her child. So why, you know, make her feel like, you know, she didn't have a place in the world to be there to purchase something because of how her child was acting and because, you know, he was special needs and, and that sort of thing. And y'all oh my goodness that just ugh, it really bothers me but that was story time once again thank you so much for watching remember to comment down below let me know be respectful and mindful of others um we're just chit chatting having some family time here um god bless you remember to head on over and check out the pink ladies meeting remember to read the description box um to give it a thumbs up like, share, and subscribe, and I love you pink ladies to pieces. God bless, and be kind to one another. Smile. It's contagious. There is nothing wrong with being nice to each other. Okay, ladies? I'll talk to you soon.